expression. While the simple forges on and suffers the consequences. The Creator created man in his own image and likeness. The Bible tells us that God, ever so loving, did not streamline man as prototypes or robots. Rather, the Almighty gave man, the ultimate fabricator, a choice. not run in the daylight for the fun of it. The gongs of the spirits do not sound on ordinary day. Akomi, they brought you to the palace. Umakanta, tell me what he has done. Your Igwe would like to know. Igwe, Igwe, this is Akopi. I caught him stealing my goat behind my compound as I just returned from the farm. Akopi, with your hands tied behind your back, they have done so well not to see your mouth. So can you now tell us what you've done? He may be the He's the handwork of the devil. Mm. I'm pushed him. He's the devil. <laughs> Why is it that in the whole village, the devil has singled you out to push you around? Out of many thousands of people. Yeah? Are you a friend to the devil? Mm -hmm. hey, Jello? Okay, what is the color of the devil? No, my kid went Can't you pull out? Jacobi, you will spend the next four native weeks in my strong room, during which my whole cabinet will meet to consider your keys. Umakata, when? 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 Thank you, God. That you've listened to me, your Igwe. We're living in a time of civilization, yes, in modern times. So jungle justice will no more find a place in our town. I thank you. Take him to the trunk room. Igwe! Take him away. Ako! Ako! We'll just the to pay you a surprise okay. This is unbelievable. Man, look, look, welcome to my heart. Yeah. Let me, let me get this. <laughs> now, nah, man, man. This is our local brio. Don't expect Gouda or Star. 
In any case, where is even electricity to cool down? I don't know anymore. Just one game. Well, uh, now that you brought that up. Yeah. Can you You are still discussing with your friends, eh? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 yes, sir. Thank you. It goes very well. Yes, in secondary school. You should buy a lot. I'm going for the meeting, eh? Okay. Okay. Okay, Padalo. Thank you. God bless. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. What is actually wrong with your village? How do you mean? Me? You are so close to civilization, yet the village is so backward. Don't ask me. Why not? I'm not the Igwe. Ah, oh, come on, Ken. It doesn't need your being the Igwe. Wait. All right, Ken. You tell the Igwe we've asked. <laughs> do you know that we have to act? Three kilometers away and boarded the Okanada brothers. You packed your what? The fact is, we came in a maker's car! Right. Wait, 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 wait. Emmy? Emmy mm -hmm. boy? Mm -hmm. You mean you have a car now? You know my boy, is it? Come on! Hey! Look, look, believe me, I'm happy for you, Emeka. You mean two years after graduation? Oh, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. That's right. Hey. Just manage this food. Hmm? Uh, 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 thank you. Hello, thank you. 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 Thank is a sin, is an offense punishable by hanging over. <laughs> and we are exceptions. <laughs> uh, on a rather serious note, you'll be coming up with us to my village. Today? Yes, today. I mean, man, it's been a long, long time. Let's go to my village, spend on one or two days together. Come to think of it. I have nothing to lose. For all time's sake, man. Get no, get no. First of all, let's move my mother happy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Just stolen a fowl or something similar. Stolen a fowl? Yes, that's what happens around here every time. Come on, come on. You don't tell me that that young man just stole a fowl. Poverty. Poverty. Yes. Look, look, look. Poverty can infest you with the ugliest of thoughts. You know what I've discovered in this village? Poverty does not necessarily mean being without money, but being without hope. Most people in this village especially the youths have lost hope and this is one of the products of losing hope Too bad. you guys got real problems here let's go serious matter man home by this time of the year. I hope all is well. About all is not well. So, all is not well. So, what is it? What happened? About we had a little problem at the shop yesterday. Mm -hmm. With your yes, dad? Yes, sir. 
So when we came back to the house in the evening now, I tried talking to him, but he didn't want to look at my face. Only for him to wake up this morning and ask him to pack my bag and go. To pack your things and leave you and leave the house. Yes, Papa. After seven years. That is what I don't understand, Papa. That wicked master of yours, does he know that some of your mates are married? Some have built houses? I don't understand. After seven years. After seven years. He'll send you out without settlement. To poor Biam. Oh, Nenu. Watch over us. Protect us from the shackles of the rich. It will not be well with that man. Let's go inside. Left the university. Nothing to show for it. Uh, but Papa, I, I nothing know. to show for the effort your mother and I put in training you. We virtually starve. I know. And you are also aware that you are the only person. <coughs> <coughs> your mother and I are ready. You know that uh, <coughs> this cough uh, is, is, <coughs> is gradually dragging your father to the grave. Nothing will happen to you. I'm sure of that. It's okay. It's okay. Why, what kind of question is that? This early money, what am I doing here? I know it's not Mama Sunday's tree. And if it is Ma Mama Sunday's tree, what are you going to do? You're asking me. Oh, I said, who we'll asked you to come back? Hey, 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 What's the matter? <laughs> no, 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 stop! What is the matter? Eh? It's okay. What is the matter? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What is the matter? Okay. 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 He's lying. Mama told me three days ago to come and call this, this man's head. Y yes, but when she found out you weren't coming, she came to me. Is that all you want to kill yourselves for? Hmm? People in the neighboring village, your age, they are driving exotic cars. Oh, and you're here trying to kill yourself over who caught Mama from this country. Don't mind him. Hmm? Huh? Um, Okafo. Okay. Why not leave Oko? Since Mama soon they contracted him three days ago. No, I can't do it, can it? You see, this money that Mama Sunday is going to pay me is very important to me. It's going to help me in paying for my monthly due. You are very crazy. That is the same money, that money, that money you are saying. I will use it to buy apple for my family tonight. And you can't even stop it. And you too, you can't stop it. Okay, let's see who. You can't stop me. Okay, let's see who caught it now. Let's see who caught it. Okay. Why are you crying? I mean, why are you crying? Chineke. What is the matter now? You won't understand. That's that word. Um, Igwe, I was on my way to the palace when I walked into Oku and Okafor 
trying to kill themselves over who will cut Mama Sunday's palm head. Eh? Is that a fact? But yes. You see that Okafo is troublesome. You see, he fights more than he drinks palm wine. The more he drinks, the less he fights. The more he fights, the less he drinks. Okafo. That aptly describes Okafo. Oh, that's Okafo for you. But let us ask ourselves questions. Why should our able-bodied men, the young men of this village, when their colleagues in the neighboring villages are driving exotic cars, why will they try to kill themselves over who will cut palm head that attracts 10 naira? There is pleasure in the pursuit of anything. Anything worthwhile, you will. Anything worthwhile. My son, it is only the pursuant that can tell whether it is worthy or not. Ten naira may be worthless to you. But to care for and work, it is worth dying for. Perhaps you will. But Oku and Okafo, we are prompted by circumstances. The question is not whether we have failed, but whether we are content with failure. Anyway, I heard that Ako is fine, okay, and the cage who have vanished from this town. You heard right. Why? I'm only. Him. Explain to him. All right, um, Kenneth. The four some we are caught and found guilty of very heinous crimes. Ako is totally good. If I was caught red handed raping Ma, the first young girl in a month. Okay, if you let loose such a criminal on the society, even your own mother, my dear, will not be safe. Ike Chuku was caught tampering with someone else's trap, a trap that had caught grass cutter. If you ask me of OKK, I will tell you OKK's case is even worse. He was found pummeling his mother. Tick, we, we, ba, ba. Imagine a man beating up his own mother. I mean, that's the height of taboo. The height of uh, assault. I did me a man over that. Imagine. Mr. Madon. Okay. So, you can see that the Igwe and his cabinet could not have been faulted over the banishment of these miscreants. Igwe, instead of our tackling the cause of this problem, we are tackling the effect. How do you mean? Igwe, you're a wise man, a very wise man, and by this, I don't intend to flatter you. Then what don't you see wise in this judgment? Okay, have we asked ourselves questions? Why these young men engage in these shameful acts? Why? Which other town in this whole area is as decrepit as our town? In the whole of Eastern region, it is Umar Kanta now that cannot boast of electricity. No tag roads anywhere, all we see uh, ram shackles in the name of residences. I went to the university to study mechanical engineering and graduated with second class upper. I did my youth service in NMPC and the white man I worked under graciously recommended me for immediate employment. But somehow I was rejected and for three years, no job. Okay, um, Fabian uh, Udoga just this yesterday was sent packing by his ogre after serving the ogre for seven years this um you are trying to banish now served his ogre for 10 years without settlement okay um if i knew, was my classmate when we were in secondary school and had to drop in class three because his parents could not afford his school fees are you let's see thank you Iwe. okay okay was sacked by the local government. All these are young men with future, but they are all suffering from one ailment. What ailment? Frustration. Hmm. Let us ask ourselves questions so that we don't end up banishing one set of young men only for another set to step in. What? What do you mean? What I mean is that many more young men will end up committing these crimes that these ones committed. And they will also be banished. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where will they start from? Let they that want to transform the world start by transforming themselves. Ah, bea, 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 Kenneth. Are you in any way trying to insult our No, never. 
Igwe is the cultural and political leader of this town. But if I were in his shoes, when my people turn to become thieves, criminals, and lawbreakers, I will ask myself questions. Questions? Yes. I don't know. Questions like, what am I not doing right? What is wrong with my land? Kenneth, <laughs> you've spoken for so long. I commend your courage at this point. I must ask you one question. If you were in the shoes of the Igwe Fuma, what would you do? Igwe, I will first of all find out what is wrong with my land before I banish these men? I will send for you. Within the vulture does not hover around for nothing. Oh, if I may, I may. Our Yoruba brothers have it that if a witch cries in the night and a child dies in the morning, it is not out of place to assume that the witch killed the child. Most likely. There's a monster boat. I got my cracker. We love what to prolong it any more. How is it any more going to be more A young man visited me last evening and stirred my mind over very, very serious issues. Zuma, I'm here to listen. As a man, there is a serious problem in the land. Why is it that our youths? are not progressing like their counterparts in our neighboring villages. Why? This young man talked and talked and talked so much that I couldn't get sleep that night. There's a mother is problem in Omakanta. Why is it that there is no single primary school in Omakanta? While our neighboring villages, each and every one of them, has more than one secondary school. Why is it that our youths who we sent out to learn different trades have been sent back to us by their masters without settlement? Why is it that Omar Kanta is going down, down, down backwards while all the neighboring villages are progressing? Is it more what can be done? Igwe, I'm surprised. You are asking. I'm surprised. When last was a sacrifice made to India Queen? Oh. Yes, um, the kind of sacrifices they call it the bands can no longer be obtained in modern times. Then 
What are we crying for? Ndegui, right from the, in the inception of Omakanta, has protected this town from evil and invaders. At least during the Civil War, no bullet or bomb landed in Omakanta. But all neighboring villages had countless air raids. Then my father, whom I took over from, gave Ndegui whatever it's asked for. Every AK market there. As a mom, ask Ndegui the alternative to human sacrifice. Yes, as a mom. Igwe, if you never see a cow, you see the animal. Talk to me, Igwe. For seven years, Ndegui has not been appeased. But that's why we sent you back to them. To talk to them and find out how best we can appease them. Igwe, for every year that it has been ignored, they could demand a human head. What? That means seven human heads? Yes. Seven heads. All vegetables. Mbano. Mbano. Huh? We are trying to cleanse our land to make it a better place to live. And they are demanding for our daughters, seven of them. Our daughters who have been fighting to protect. Igwe, the girls are wise. Their ways are not our ways. Somebody has always died for something. Let's speak solace in the fact that they did not choose either Igwe or Ezemwa. Instead, they picked somebody else. My friend is a Uko of Uko, sent for me some time ago to be beside him in similar sacrifice. They never used any human head. All they used would be a monkey head. Probably what their gods demanded. Is a more living in modern times. And we must commit to ride by the time. Igwe, are you in any way trying to speak for the gods? When the gods speak out of tongue, it is the duty of the agents. To call them to order. To reason with them. These are hard times and the ghost even should understand. Go back. Go back and negotiate with research with them. Negotiate with them. Persuade them. And when they say not to. You go back and negotiate. You insist. You talk to them. Is a more. Go back, talk to them. I'm offering a cow for each human head they are demanding. I'm prepared to appease them. Provided they leave our daughters out of it. Honey? <laughs> <laughs> yes, my dear. When I come to see my parents? Over what? Um, about our relationship. They want to know what you have in mind. But you already know what I have in my mind, don't you? I do, but they don't. And that makes a lot of difference. Especially now, many suitors trip to our house every day. Ada, you expect me to come and tell them what? Our intentions, that's all. When I make such visit, I'm supposed to come with my father. And you believe that the appropriate cure to my father's tobacco losses is to take him to my in-law's house now. By the way, do your parents expect me to marry you now? No, really. It's just that his men have come to our house. Do you want to marry any of them? Of course I don't. Why do you want to yield to your parents' pressure? Look, for three years, I graduated. I've not gotten a job. I mean, I don't want to live in that ramshackle that is my father's house with our kids. Our village is cursed, can't you see? Cursed? Yeah. Anyway, you may not really understand the situation. Because as a principal, your father is the most enlightened man in this community. And also the richest. How can I say my father is the richest? Just look around. Who is richer than him? And please, we're not here to discuss words. How can you talk about marriage and 
keep wild out of it. Aren't we going to feed? Aren't we going to raise children? Aren't we going to talk about building a house? Come on, my baby. We are in a job. And what should occupy our mind is how to work out of it. So what do you suggest? Run away from home? No, never. Then what? Something has to be done. Something like what? Honestly, I don't know yet. But if you love me, you will stand by me. Of course I love you and you know it. Good. Then wait for me. You know you're a very pretty young girl. Your parents should understand that a financially capable woman stands the test of time. Stand by you to the end of time. <laughs> yes, you can. You can. You can move now, for Oh, you see, man. I've consulted the gods and asked them, what will be left if all our daughters are used to appease them? And their response? They are ready to accept cows in their places. Uh -huh. A live cow each a kende for several market weeks. Now they are talking. You see, any sacrifice in which the intestine of a housefly is the main ingredient, you may never see the light of the day. Igwe, the gods of home are kanta. And I'm going to reciprocate their gestures. By offering them the fattest cow. When do we start? The next ekede. The next ekede. Is uh, the next ekede not tomorrow? It will. The girls are wise. All right. I'm the Igwe for Makanta. I am prepared for the sacrifice. <coughs> This your idea is costing the whole village more than they can pay. But I only spoke out of fear. Fear? Yes, the fear of tomorrow. Kenneth. Sir. Kenneth. Now, Papa, I'm wide awake. I'm listening. This village has been here before you came. And will continue to be here even after you must have gone. I don't follow. For seven market weeks, we have been contributing through our noses by sacrificing live cows to Ndebli. I'm not complaining about my contribution. My worry is that the people who have spearheaded such crusade to better Umwekenta have all come to horrible end. I still don't understand. Kenneth, sir, I am your father. You should have told me before embarking on such heroic exercise. Heroic exercise? But I didn't do anything except stopping the Igwe and his cabinet from expelling our young men who acted out of frustration. And that by itself has brought in a new dimension to a new law that was specially mapped out to deal with the increasing menace of a young man. The cause of the problem is what we should tackle, not the effect. Papa, if I have the opportunity, I will fight to the last drop of my blood to liberate this town. <laughs> it's not a matter of sacrificing cows.
the daughters out of his chair. Baby, the worst is facing you. And what could that be? My father is suffering from tuberculosis. Uh oh, uh, for you. Do you know that I cannot even send him to the hospital? That bad? Worse. For three years now I failed to learn the job. I cannot even... It's okay, okay, it's okay. There's no need lamenting. For, for you. I'll give you 50,000 naira right away. When, when your father gets better, you come back, we talk about your joblessness. Did you say 50,000 naira? Sure. Anything? No, just 10,000 naira would be enough. Well, come on. Why are you small minded? No, you're going to take care of your father affairs and then he has to feed to avoid the relapse of whatever he wants. How can I thank you? It's okay. It's not a team bit. Any more? It's okay, it's okay. Come and go to the office. invited me to Lagos but I can't go because mama is here to recover from papa's death one year on. So what do you want to do? After burying seven cows in this village, the problems have increased. People suffer more and deaths are uncountable. Ken, why are you trying to carry the problem of the village on your shoulders? Because this is where I belong. This is my root. My flesh and blood. I have no other lineage besides Omo Akanta. And this is why I must stand up and defend it to secure its future. The future will take care of it. Sir. Look, the future of Omo Akanta will be in ruins if no one takes a bold step. The signs are there. So what will you do? I don't know. How can you do something when you don't even know what you want to do? I may not know exactly what needs to be done but what I do know is that something radical has to be done and believe me if I come across it I will know it and I will do it oh my god may I live to witness this <laughs> I see your mother. Ah. Welcome, my daughter. Mama, are you alright? I'm alright, my daughter. You're alright. 
how can she be all right when she carried this tin of oil on her head to go market and back a distance of over 15 kilometers what else can I do? Must you continue to be doing this all the time? Come on, Ken. I'm, I'm not complaining. Eh? And, uh, you have to take care of yourself. You need this thing. Be cool. Be cool. I'm strongly considering going to Lagos to meet my friend Emeka and weigh all possibilities. You are? Yes. So what happens to me? If things work out, I'll come back and pay your bride price immediately and take you away. But I'm trusting you to take care of my mother. Take care of her? Yes. Look, she needs company or she drives herself to death. It's alright, but... You know, my price might be a stumbling block, since we are not... Forget that. You know, we've been through this a countless number of times. Just do it discreetly and they will know. Look out for me, dear Okuma. That look out for me, for me. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, my waist. My waist. Oh. Hey, can I do? Oh. Ah. Oh, my waist. My waist. Oh. Can I my waist? Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Mama, please now. Mama, you have to get to the hospital, please. Hey, Mama, please now. 
Why? Okay, Mama, please let me carry you on my back, please. Let us go, please. Mama, we'll get the road. We'll get a car, please. You cannot. You cannot. Know, oh, Jesus. How are you feeling today? Is it cannot. Then more. Look, I, I've been begging her to allow me to take her to the hospital, but she will not agree. Oh. What? Kenneth, what are you waiting for? No, Jimmy. Are you waiting for that lady to die? Looking at my own mother to die? What are you saying? Don't you see that she is going? I told you that there are no white collar jobs in this community. All of us here are farmers, Kenneth. Why don't you drop your pride of being a university graduate and work for a living for once? You watch your father die. Mm -hmm. Suffering. Watch my father now die. Now you are watching your mother die. My friend, I know what you're talking about. What kind of nonsense is this? Oh, man. Hey. I, I'm, I'm hey. in the What are you doing? Okay, honestly, you will allow me to kill this bastard. Huh? Can't yourself lock your... What are you doing? Get out! Come, come, come back. It's okay. It's okay. You killed somebody one day, okay? Nothing would have made me happier if I had killed that idiot. What did he do? Can you imagine this man, oh? This animal telling me that I watched my own father die <laughs> and I intend doing the same to my mother. Mama. 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 Mama, please now. You have to get to the hospital now, please. Mama, you need to get to the hospital. No, I can't. I have someone less than hey, Mama, please, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Mama. Oh, no, no, I can't. Hey, Mama, please now. Again. Oh, hey. Mama, oh, Mama, because then. Can I get someone? Ah, my daughter. Can I? Ah, can I? This is your wife. <coughs> Kenneth, this is your wife, <coughs> my daughter. <coughs> Take care of your husband. <coughs> you are the mother, <coughs> the father, <coughs> the sister, and the brother, which he has not. <coughs> mama. mama! It's okay, it's okay. Hey, Mama. Hey, hey, Mama. Nothing is happening. My people are suffering more. There are more premature deaths. And the youths continue to perpetrate crimes with a careful abandon. Igwe, the sole mirror of the gods grants you. A year and a half is not enough time to complete all things around. But at least, at least things shouldn't get worse. After the rain comes sunshine, you were. The gods are wise. And the Indian queen is not known for getting Come see them and tell us what brings you to the palace. Thank you, Igwe. Um, Igwe, you know that within a space of 14 months, I have buried both my father and my mother. That's exactly what I've been discussing with him, isn't more just before you came in. Igwe, with due respect, the solution to the problem of Omar Kanta does not lie in a deity that does not have eye or mouth. Yeah. Like I said, our solution lies outside this community. I have packed all my things. By tomorrow morning, I'll be leaving for Lagos. I may find the solution there. But if I don't, let it be on record that the solution to our problem does not lie in this deity. Where exactly does it lie? I don't know 
I don't know where exactly it lies. I pray and hope that I may stumble on it in Lagos. How sad. To seek for the solution of our problem. What do you think is the solution? What do you give to a hungry person? Food, of course. Or money to buy food. Mm -hmm. Igwe, do you know that when my father wanted to sell our piece of land to battle my university education, that nobody in the whole of Umakanta village could afford to pay for the piece of land until that um, Newi man who came to take um, Fabian Fabian Udoka came and bought it. What element is worse than that? When you start selling your ancestral land to the people of other towns, you start losing your boundary. I need your blessing. I have no mother, no father, no brother or sister. I am on a lonely field, leading a one-man army to a war of the unknown, all in the name of Omar Kanta. It will please bless me. It shall be well with you, son of the soil. I miss you even more. But Lagos is not America. And believe me, it won't be for long. I, I hear a lot of stories about Lagos and their girls. You're my wife, my mother, my sister. Everything. Where do you go now? Where do you go?
with time, there's something I'm going to lead you into. There's this um, proposal my company is trying to develop. And um, it will be good to let you put it on it soon on my screen. Because my boys are trying to write. Uh, <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. Amy, I've been around now for seven days since I left my village. So, there is one question I'm longing to ask you. Fair enough. You know, how come this sudden transformation into this limitless wealth and grand acquisition? <laughs> Can uh, you ask the funniest of questions? Well, to you perhaps, but to me, oh, I'm dead serious. Well, you were my very good friend at the university, my best pal. Didn't you notice that threat in me that I came out of so whatever I did, including academically? Oh, sure, 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 sure. No, I can say that for you. The hardest step is that over the threshold. I stepped over. Anyways, relax. Oh, well, I can see that. It's obvious. Relax. You are not going to be in a hurry. Or I didn't invite you to Lagos to come and count the number of flyovers. Very soon, you start making decisions. Yeah. Very long lasting decisions. <music> Yeah, you're trimmed by your tummy. So it doesn't be like your own. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, it's bigger. <laughs> we should be thinking about going home. No, I booked a suite. So we can have some food, have some drinks. But we have all these things in the house. So why waste the money here? Money is neutral. It's what you do with money that counts. No, I don't quite get that. When you have money, you spend it. When you spend it, you leave space for another to come in. You know, I've discovered that you talk unlike the Emeka I used to know. Well, the Emeka you used to know was a Emeka who smoked Gary in the university with a plastic cup. Now, this is the Emeka who talks about billions. But then, you know, your rampant reference to money, I mean... Hey, come on, Ken. Money does not just talk. It's sinks. Hello, girls. Hey, Gipe. Hello, girls. Hello, hey. girls. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. Good, 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 Hi. good, 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 good. Hi. My girls, how are you? I'm fine. Are you here? Now, what you do is go to the reception, collect the key to the suite. You guys, eat whatever you want, drink whatever you want. Hey, 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 be with you. Yeah, so like I was saying, you know, who are they? They're girls. Oh, just girls. Tell us about what we have to do. Ah, we don't have. Ken, with money, you won't be short of friends. Okay. Especially the women folk. Money and women have an understanding. They have this kind of partnership where one finds the order. It's very intriguing. Women can smell money as far <laughs> off as a shark can smell blood. That's women. <laughs> okay, no, no, okay. That means, uh, you know, you don't see any of them and you start spending like that. Oh, thank God for women. If not for women, money will have little meaning. <laughs> 
bet. No bets. No bets. But you have money and enough of it. Spend it. You, life is giving. When you give, you go home happy. That does not mean you don't see anybody from the blues and you start spending on the person. Oh, come on. Giving is giving. Whether you give the preacher, you give to your mother, giving is giving. And one thing, go to the room, snap our fingers, they go home with us. They follow us up. They follow us up. Oh, come on. Don't talk like a priest or a eunuch. You have been with me for some days. You haven't uh, uh, had a woman, can I? Take what? Woman? Are you a eunuch? Of course, you got to test your, you know. <laughs> And, uh, look, 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 I think you should learn how to drive. So I can become your driver. What did you just say? I mean, anything is better than living with you in executive style without really having anything to do. Am I complaining? You may not be complaining, my brother. But I'm human and I've got conscience. You just changed my wardrobe. I eat whatever I want. And whenever I want it, I sleep whenever I wish and wake up whenever. My clothes go to the laundry. My room is dressed and cleaned by a maid. I've stayed one month with you without having anything to do. Mm. You want to do something? Exactly. That's why I came. Actually, when I talked about you driving, what I meant was, you were driving in any of the cars without necessarily waiting for me. Me alone, driving in any of your cars? Yes. Do you know that each of those cars cost me? Money? So what? Hey. You will go to a driving school later today. That won't be necessary. Why? I already can drive. Oh, good. I learned that during the youth service. Very good. Then, as per what you're going to do, we'll talk day after tomorrow. Why not now? Day after tomorrow, there's something I want to show you. Okay. Thank you. 
Now we can talk about what you want to do. Um, Amy, first of all, tell me, what happened yesterday? Nothing besides uh, spending some few change. Few change? Mm -hmm. Do you know that you sprayed quite well over 75,000 US dollars? Of course I know. And you call that few change? <laughs> Can you know what your problem is? Poverty. Poverty has so eaten deep into the fabrics of your thinking, Carmen. All you need to do is get rid of your misery infested Carmen and think straight. No, I don't quite get that. These are modern times. The only thing that gets you going is money and plenty of it. But I don't have it. In three months from now, you could have all this. Including this house and the cars outside, and then plenty of foreign currency as you wish. How? Impossible. Relax, my friend. There's nothing I haven't seen. Money, life, everything. I have the wherewithal to put you on the line. You need money to reclaim your destiny. Yeah, certainly I do. Then read the gospel according to Emeka Olisa. Um, okay, one more thing. <laughs> uh, Am I David? You know? How come? <laughs> <laughs> Bets of the same feather, my friend. Bets of the same feather. Anyway, in a very short time, you visit them and see for yourself. You will now see you have been the odd one out. But, take my word, you need money to reclaim your destiny. Drink up.
And now to the business of the day. May I give you? No, you do. I hear you have an intended number. Yes, my dear. Bring him in. From the day that Cain made his crude implement to kill his brother Abel, man has deteriorated into discoveries and manufacture, ranging from firearms like guns to the devil. From your reaction since last night, it's like you really do not want to belong. Of course I do. I wouldn't have gone with you if I don't. Then what? I want a wife, but not the one that is already nursing a child. Meaning? I'm not cut out to spill blood, so I'm not sacrificing anybody. Listen, my friend. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the ability to carry on with dignity in spite of it. So what's dignifying in killing another for money? Let me tell you. People who think the way you do end up being poor and staying poor. Look, I wasn't brought up like that. I wasn't brought up like that either. But things change. I think things change. You change and move with the tide. Moving with the tide has never been my own idea of getting problems solved. Not only are you from an awkward community, but a very backward one at this. Hey, hey, please, I make a stop. No, please. no, no, no. Let me give you the education of your life. Your town thinks that people progressed by being busy, working all day, sweating all night. No, that's old fashioned. Come on, look at the neighboring towns and communities, including mine. So, Onye Kaobi or Bulodike, you don't make money from your salary and the little profits from your trade. You're either a politician and spend government's money, or you open the way and the dollar comes in. Open the way by killing for money. You're not going to kill anybody directly. Directly or indirectly, the person will eventually die, and that's murder. I see you really do not want to belong. I do, but there has to be another way. No. In this paradise, there is no other way. You give and you take. In this axiom, what you are giving is little compared to what you are going to get. Someone very dear to me. Of course. My mother and father are dead. I have no brother, no sister. Who else does he have? And of course, I don't. 
good. I guess that's my answer. Now, and that is my fiance. So, I must remind you. Save that rhetorics for your fights, okay? This is the big league. Okay? We're talking about serious matters here, not sentiment. Catch up if you really want to belong. Do I tell you something, Rebecca? Besides meeting my immediate needs, the main reason why I need this money is to liberate my village. Then the time to act is now. How can I turn around and kill a member of the same village? So oh, come on, somebody has to die for something. See, let me tell you one fact. Towns that have people like me are the towns that progress. Towns that have people like you must die. Do I need to remind you that your parents died for nothing? Look, I'm not a plea. But it's true. Do you know that that Ada you want me to sacrifice is the only reason why I'm still alive today? Her money kept me going. She even gave me the transport fare to Lagos. And the only way I would show appreciation to her is to sacrifice her for Omar Kanta. I mean, if that's the only step towards my becoming rich, I would rather continue wallowing in poverty. Okay. Species like you are no longer on our shores. Then count me as the only American in Babylon. Do you know what I sacrificed? Your father, perhaps. A wife. What? You knew Lisa, didn't you? I sacrificed her two months after our wedding. But you told me she had an accident. Exactly what she had. Jesus Christ. Can I... I know how fondly you feel about her. Can I could ask her, would you, if you could bring some other person from your village? That's out of the question. Emeka. Look, I'm, 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 I'm grateful, you know, for your concern for me. But my interest is in salvaging the life of the Relax. Relax. Don't say it. Just fasten your seatbelt and enjoy the ride. Your pilot is the master of the atmosphere. Is that not Kenneth Uba? Come on, get your Igwe. Igwe. Eh? You are Kenneth. Don't be annoyed, though. What did you eat that you are looking as fresh as somebody? See, no, but do you go better? Igwe. See the shoes, oh, now go go, you're okay, no? Boat. Hey! I'll pure up. What did you is it not just five months ago you left this village? Do you know I see the tozo you have developed all over your body. Hey! Uh, actually, uh, it should be like uh, seven oh. months now. Yeah, you're almost right. Mm. To... Wait, to Kenneth. Igwe. Who is the owner of that beautiful motor? Not the government. Not the government. Oh, government, the beautiful river. Igwe, by the grace of God, is yours. What are you talking about? The land of our forefathers has cornered its own fortunes. Yeah, Kenneth, you got this all. For remembering what's uh, collecting me. So, this black moving ship called Jeep is for the Igwe and us. So, we, we shared weekly that Abakas are Bobo and Igwe and us. <laughs> well, uh, it is for the Igwe. Oh, that's oh. that, that, just a minute. For okay, the Igwe and for Jeep. See, yeah, please look. He's looking for Jeep. Yeah. And Igwe. Oh, yeah. You can't maintain this thing until you will sell your wife. We we maintain it for you. Oh yes. Because what can we do? Right side and then someone sit on the right side. That's all. What of what of what of this? Did you? Did you enter the boat? Oh, I'll give you the number. Anyway, 
What is hey? Yay! Hey. Hey. This is uh, 40, 40, 40, I want you to use this money to maintain your old age. Oh, yeah. And henceforth. I'll be giving you money on monthly basis. Eh? Long, monthly? As long as I live. As long as you live. Yes. Holy Sabinigwe, Bikono. This is our son. Kenneth Oba. May he never die. He believes in the world. He believes in the world. He believes in the Hey! Our Igwe will soon take his rightful place in this state's committee of chief. Kenneth, Igwe, I still don't understand what's happening. Igwe, you remember that uh, that day I was leaving this village. I came to you for blessing. So? Rejoice. Your words of wisdom followed me to the city of excellence. I told you I was embarking on a solo journey to better the lot of this community. Oh, back 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 yeah, 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 thank you. He was. Hmm. Indeed, the eagle has landed. Hmm. Hey, come here. <laughs> Man, I said it. Hey. In my lifetime. I said it. I said this boy. This boy will be a source of light in this community. Hey! 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 Igwe, I have a mission, and by the grace of God, this is just the beginning. Ken, I am going to recognize you with the chieftaincy title. Perhaps about lady one of whom I can hmm? Igwe, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not interested in such a comment. Why not? I don't like noise making, you know me. Uh, Ken, you are still a young man. I know, I know. I quite appreciate your generosity, Igwe. But like I said, I'm not interested in a chief fancy title now. Right now, what I want to do in a matter of six months is to build you a befitting palace. Did I hear you well? How can you be driving a car like this and be living in a hut like this? I mean, if your fellow Igwe is calm, they will look down on you. Hey. Can this plan of yours so it's not a small one no? <laughs> eh? Igwe, the quality of a man is not just in what he has achieved, but in what he intends to achieve. How about the young man?
should not listen. How many suitors came here for a hand in marriage? How many? Papa, please. Please what? Eh? Please what? When I was telling you to consider one of those who need women, you insisted on Ken Etoba. Ken, 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 Ken. Now look at you. He has gone to Lagos, made his money, and abandoned you. Mama, Ken has not abandoned me. Eh? You mean you haven't recovered your senses? You say he hasn't abandoned you? Eh? Papa, he hasn't. The same Kenneth, who goes to see Igwe every minute, has not set his foot here since he made his money. And your sister, he hasn't abandoned you. Papa, he hasn't. I know Ken, he can't Shut abandon up. me. Shut up! Is he not the same Kenneth? Is he not a man? He has seen everything there is to see about you and took to his heels. Including my money, you lavished on him. Papa. Shut up! I have eyes and I can see. Now that you have a befitting house with good cars to go with it, I want to unfold my plan for the community. But you have already exceeded the wildest imagination of any man in the world. What else do you want to worry yourself about? I feel flattered, Igwe. But thank you all the same. The truth is that you are not my primary objective. I was not? Yeah. I um, just decided to give you a befitting ground to decide what happens in Omar Khan. I want a situation where you will exert absolute authority so that whoever you call to order will listen. I'm listening. I want to empower the youth. Empower the youth? Yes. All those young men that would have been banished from this village. All those young men that we are sent back from their masters, unsettled, I want to give them enough money so that they can start various businesses of their own. And as many of them that want to travel overseas to commence their business, fine. I want to assist them to it. Okay? Yes, Ibo. What are you waiting for? You. Me? Yeah. Send a message through your messengers. I want all young men of Umar Kanta in this palace the next day. I'll do that. <laughs> that would be very kind of you. may consider it done. Today is a good day because the God of Umakanta has remembered Umakanta. I thank you first of all for honoring my invitation. I want to tell you one thing. Now, all those among you that have learned a trade but we are not settled, be prepared to go back to your page. Just name any amount you want. Any amount, and I will give it to you. <laughs> and um, any one of you that want to travel overseas, be ready to go. I have my contacts. I will get you the visa. And I will send you to any comfortable place of your choice to chase your dream. <laughs> and um, you owe me one thing. One thing. I am not asking you to pay me back this money I am going to give you. I am only asking you that whenever you get rich, you must develop my country. <laughs> So that the government can come into Umakanta and give us good roads, electricity, and all the infrastructure of modernity. In five years' time, I want Umakanta to be better than all the neighboring villages. <laughs> Will be calling you one after the other. And when they call you, you will make
make me inside, and I will give you any amount you want. <laughs> This is an idol club. You know, the first time I mentioned this, I never believed it. It's cockroach at Mother. Cockroach? Mother time. If we have four of this type in this community, I'll make it. I've told them to be coming for at the time. This is me. Femi Udoka. Um, Okafo, how much do you want? Sir, you know, special business is the How much? Okay, sir, 500. I'll give you one million naira. Gee. Uh, that's the right one. One week. Uh huh. Um, Vivian, uh, how much do you want? You know, we didn't send it. How much? Uh, the same time. I'll give you the same one million naira. Oh, no, no. Okay. Um, uh, fine. Can the How much do you? You know, I learned team by trade, and if I have two hundred thousand, I think it will be okay for me. I'll give you seven hundred thousand. Thank you very much. God bless you. I could. How much do you want? Sir, you know I learned mechanics. So how much? Just give me a thousand. Thousand. I'll give you three hundred thousand. Huh? Okay. Your case is different, so make good use of it. Don't worry, pay for money. Buy an iPad. Eighty, eighty, eighty. My only that. He further promised to give every elder 20,000 naira each month. What? Every elder will receive from him 20,000 naira every month. Does it include me? Of course. Then, Nde Kuri. Yes! I told you the sawmill of the gas grinds slowly. Nde Kuri has finally started working. It has to work through somebody. Very clearly, it has. Chosen to use this Kenneth Moba. <laughs> Whatever happens, the development is good news. But don't mention Ndekuli in the presence of Kenneth. Igwe, don't you think that now Ndekuli has replied it needs bigger sacrifice? Yes, sir. Leave Ndekuli out of it. Uh, Igwe, why? If I were you. I will look forward to receiving my 20,000 Naira every month. Oh. Missing me heaven and earth, you're throwing me out. What did I do to deserve this? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely.
absolutely nothing. Believe me. So, why is that love I see in your eyes? Just days, we sit in our garden of Eden to eat your mother prepared roasted yam. Those days you told me our first son would answer Ken, you know. Just days. That's all. Why? Guilty conscience. I warned you about Lagos and their girls. But you promised otherwise. They finally got at you, is it? Adam, stop! I can't stop! I won't stop! You might have forgotten by heaven. That day you took my virginity in our Garden of Eden. That day I loved you forever. That day I saw the father of my unborn kids. That day... Ada, you're tearing me to shreds. Why? You want to understand. Is it about the other woman? I guessed my own Ken never had time for other women. How wrong I was. Expecting your building or what? No, I want to bring this one down so hey. that I can erect it, the fitting structure. You want to bring this one down? Hey, you know, my problem is that if I had, if I have to put this foundation there, that means these trees have to go. Yeah, and this is economic crop too. So. My mother used to like this tree a lot, but hey. she's not there. So they have to go. In case we you born, we you born. Very hard to come by. It has to go. Well, uh, one thing has to give way to the other. Um, um, Igwe Kana. There's something I came to discuss with you. Oh, you want to No, I'm not. If it's about the chieftaincy, try to forget it. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested. No, no, no. no. Ah. You see, at a point, a man gets too big to be small. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, this is your 20,000 naira to the elders of Umakanda. What did they do when your father died? Mm, I don't understand. You see? When your father died, they were reluctant to come for his grave digging. Ah, but it was the duty of the young men to do the grave digging. Brother mm -hmm. Young men will be there, but wise elderly ones have to be there, have to be there with them so they can guide them. Um, no, you been The thing is that I can't remember if anybody fell short. No, you couldn't have my dear. And no one is blaming you for that because you had tears all over you. No, no, no. He be like one, no. He will tell him no. Okay, assuming I didn't notice, it was almost uh, three years ago. Why bring it up now? Why are you offering them 20,000 naira? People who couldn't afford even 1,000 naira. Manu, the idea is not to give them what they can afford, but what they cannot afford so that they can appreciate it. Mm -mm. Young men are getting very wise. All right. Why didn't you give them 1,000 naira? Okay. I mean, if you make it 10,000 naira, one. Um, Naya Modi, that is my money. Hmm? And I've slated 20,000 naira for them, and it stays that way. Thank God. You see now that you are being unfair to me. How? <laughs> when your father died, it was I, Yamobichiku, who went around the whole community with big eyes and protected voices that your father had passed on. I mean, how can you then give me the same amount with that? But, um, okay, say, Mevan. It's more better than car. According to Rain, I took a question like, what's wrong with that? Um, Nayamobi. Okay, okay, okay. In that case, from today, I'll be giving you 40,000 naira monthly. Bam! Bam! Good evening.
Maggie. Oh, what's the name of Maggie. <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> On your own. Oh, that's very deep. Look, how many times will I tell you that I don't want that name? My friend, Jessica, look, mm -hmm. when you have money, insult it. You seem to be the only one who does not understand that money sees. So money sees. I'm off My friend, that's sad. That I'm not caught up for this boy, serious kind of money. Then why go for the money when you're too naive to spend it? And who told you I am not spending money? Look, I spend much more than you do. Mom, if you spend money on what? Look at their house. I've bought it. You don't even have a woman. But of what use? Look, I'm going to need Berebe, Ilunyaka. You cannot hide billions. It's impossible. I don't have billions. No, but look, at the last count, I've helped over 55 young men from my village. 15 of them are scattered all over Europe. And do you know one good thing? They are all progressing. Do you offer yourself as a sacrifice? Wow. Well, you're getting the gist now. Oh. Give me five. Give me five. <laughs> look, 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 look. No, but on, on a serious note, I prefer that name to about any one of the one. No, I, I rather, I rather you are called Jesus Christ the Second. Do not take the name of the Lord in vain. Oh, <laughs> what? Well, there's this uh, conference coming in Abuja the day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. Count me out. Why? There are these young men that are coming from my village. You know? And I've already told them I'll be there. No, well, let me. Let me. Oh, what? What? Oh, what? Hey, give me what you want. What do you want? Give me. The only thing you have is just your small house. Give me your red wine. Oh, I'm going to go.
You see, my little brother, Nzam, whispered into my ears and announced that you had just come into our small London. And I said to myself, as usual, hey, Amobi, be the first to go to him and say, no, mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope we say no, I don't want to give me a case here, man. Because there is something you are neglecting. What is it? You got it. How come that it's only the Igwe that is using a car? Because he's the Igwe. But no, no Igwe can function here, no. As you know who of the palace, I too deserve a car. I'm not saying it should be as big as his own, no. But no. Out of your magnanimity, it could be slightly bigger than his own, or slightly smaller. Hey, my <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh no. Hey. Ichi Hey. Um, I've heard you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll think about it. Hey, hey. I think about it. You see, since you came into our lives, you can see that we are looking very bright. <laughs> oh, bad to lady. I'm old. I hey. don't know what I see. Then. In fact, it has a bigger animal than me. We told the government that we are going to be here. So, we are going to be here. Look at the transformation of the old village. Everything is working fine. I am sure that if our late brothers, like your father, would back, come back to this life, they wouldn't recognize Omar Kanta again. I will go now. The way is okay. Oh, yeah, I do, man. We should not be sorrowing about the past. We should rather be grateful to God for giving us a bright future. Kenneth, all the boys who assisted in this village are all big men today. One of them. They are married, riding cars, built houses. All these go to Congress for the cleanliness of the heart, your own heart from which you gave out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Something is bothering me. Though. What is it? Kenneth, why are you not talking about taking a wife? Why? Um, anyway. You see, you are the only one left in your father's line. And a good man like you with such a clean heart show hurry for an offspring. Now tell me, what is the problem? What is the matter? Tell me. You are now 40, aren't you? Igwe, why don't we forget about this issue for now? Why? When I meet my new wife, oh my. But Zuromo has it. That I'm not the principal's daughter. That's a male rumor. It's a male rumor. Take it from me, Igwe. If I meet my real wife, I will marry. Kenneth, I'm concerned. I'm concerned because I feel guilty ignoring the rule of your father if he were to be alive. Thank you for your concern, Igwe. I appreciate it. Yes, who's that? Please do come in. Yo, it's Adelka. I severely tried to see you in the village, but you effectively avoided me. Well, anyway, as you can see, Lagos is not the North Pole. Ada, I still think it's a grave mistake you're coming this far. Because you will only hurt yourself the more by coming. And what do I care? Take a good look at me, Ken. I'm 32. How many years to menopause? Eight, ten, or twelve perhaps, or even less. Take it from me. The earlier we start making babies, the better for us. Babies. Yes, you heard me. 
You promised me, Junior. I'm still waiting. Ada, stop. Oh, that's your slogan these days. Ada, stop. Stop, Ada. Come on, Ken. I'm a graduate now. When we were leaving the village, I was waiting for my job results. Throughout my stay in the university and youth service, I've been counting the days. So come on, Ken. I'm, I'm all yours now. Okay. Let me show you the visitor's room. Visitor's room? Yes. So that you can take your shower while I prepare your tea. So what happened to our bedroom? Ada, please. Oh, a change in the reading now. It's now Ada, please. Anyway, I don't need your assistance to get our bedroom. I made love was six and a half years ago inside a bush we nicknamed Eden. That day you told me sweet stories. How we're going to live in a mansion and you make love to me in every corner of the house. I suggest let's, let's start a straight line. If I had done anything to you in the past, please forgive me. I've forgiven you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be thinking of us making love. Hmm? I doubt. We can't make love. Why? Have I gone that ugly? At maturity, you look even more beautiful. Thank you. I'm behaving like a whole is it? It's because you promised me babies. At least you said we're going to start the And I'm here for that. I'll wrap to you. I'll drive this knife through my chest and leave you to clean the mess. Ada, please, you won't understand. Try me! I'm not that dumb. Christ. Seven seconds. Ada. You think I'm kidding, don't you? I know you, you mean every word, but... Plus seconds. Ada. Oh my God, where are you? He's gone to bed. Ada, please. Four seconds. Ada, please. Don't come in when he goes in. One second. Wait, 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 wait. Stop talking about it.
before I left for Lagos. You remember that I told you I wanted to tackle the poverty level in Umar County. So? That's not the issue. Keep talking. I very much want to belong. Now listen to me. The inspiration behind this organization is that you give and you get. You cannot influence the length of your life. Because you can control the wills and the deaths. Good. You cannot control the weather. But you can control the atmosphere of your mind. Get him out of here! I'm ready to do the sacrifice. To sacrifice your man. Jesus Christ! You did what? What had to be done? You mean... Such a thing. Something had to be done for Omar Kanta. I couldn't have sacrificed you. Or would you have preferred that? You did more or less the same thing. No, I don't understand. I I can't live without you. Just why did you do it? Why? God. Somebody has to die for something. And I'm happy that Umar Kanta is reaping the benefit as I intended. At my own expense? No. You know, what you just need to do is to look around Umar Kanta and marry a very handsome man. Live with him and enjoy your life. The sacrifice was for you too. You must be out of your senses. And I would very much love you to be the mother of my kids. No, the blood is not the father of my kids. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I never knew you were a virgin. My mother said I would get you it one day. And she advised it has to be with a man I truly love. And I'm so glad it's with a man I love and the man I'm going to marry. You couldn't have forgotten so soon, Ken. You were all I lived for. I know, but I did this for the benefit of my time. Be prepared. We'll live together and possibly die together. You may have sacrificed Junior and our other kids, but you have not sacrificed my love for you. And uh, you're hurting me. No, I'm not. You'll marry me and we'll keep the secret between us.
Sorry, I kept you waiting. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, what was it you were talking about your video? Um, Amy, this is very important to me. I am celebrating eight years of the liberation of Umar Kanta. And uh, Naiwe has set out to celebrate his own father. So what do you want? You know, all the young men that I've helped, both at home and at abroad, will all be around. So we want to rally around our Igwe for the celebration of this of all of all times. And how do I come in? I want all the cult members to be part of it. All right. We will all be there in our uniforms, including you. Does not run in the daytime for nothing. Mm -hmm. Except the sun is on the high side. Mm, Igwe Kenanga. Now that your Ofala is um, fast approaching, yes. why don't you ask Kenneth to buy you a new car? Oh my god, why should I ask you? Because you need a brand new big car for this very great occasion. Ofala do not believe in. Huh? All who is who in the Bulad. And even across the Niger, we will attend. It's a big thing. I will be true. Hey. I never knew for one day asked Kenneth for any of those things he did for me and the people of Uma. Mm -hmm. Style, KJB, Fireman, style, style. If it is the wish to buy me a new car, so be it. But for me to ask him, never. <clears throat> Igwe, you missed the point there. I am not saying that. You should ask him. <clears throat> Remind him. That is the key word. You see, you know he's a very busy man. It may just escape his mind. That's all. If it escapes his mind, so be it. It, will. it is nothing to him. Kenneth, he, 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 he can afford it. He can even give you four cars. I'm going to be Wait, one. I'm going to be Yeah, right. I'm going to be two. Yeah, one car. Three times. Good enough, you realize that. The fly that has no advisor closed the cops into play. It depends on the weight of the cops and the depth of the grave. Some flies are very clever, modern ones. I mean, you see, I'm offering this advice. Who knows, if he buys you a brand new car, he may end up buying me a Jeep. So you are in front, blow your own pain. I stay behind you as a support, I will blow my own pain, pain. I'm not going to go with the human. As if, as if I don't know you. Igwe, 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 three times, six There were no courageous men on all my canter who could dig deep to get gold. I saw tomorrow. I challenged destiny. Ken, you played a game with my emotions, betrayed my loyalty, and now you're ripping my conscience. Maybe we haven't said I do to each other before you priest. But the one we did in our Garden of Eden, it's enough. Ada. I'm a woman, Ken. I own this mind. And I know what goes on in it. Right now, it's for better, for worse. Fine, you, you might have sacrificed your manhood for Uma Kanta. Perhaps that makes you a matter. Congratulations. So now you have a convert, I am ready to sacrifice my womanhood. Two heads are better than one. You don't know what you're talking about. Of course I do. Okay. I have all the money in the world. But you mean you still want to live with me when you know we can't make love? Look, it's not about the present. It's all about the future. You want to spend your entire life with a husband without experiencing the sacred seal of matrimony? Ken, I am aware of that. Oh no, you are not. You're not aware what the lonely nights mean. We'll be in each other's arms. Makes it worse. 
what the eye sees, it grieves about. Ada, you can't last 365 days with me without going sick in the head. You can't last three years without yearning for a baby. You want me to find another person's child, huh? Come on, Ada. I chose this path. It's a lonely route. And I want to go all the journey alone. Why are you doing this to me? Ada, I did what should be done. There are many handsome men in Umar Kanta. And they will all be present during the Igwe Safala. Make your choice and I will make it stick. Live with the person and forget about me. Never. I can't. All right. Consider me the dead. If I had died, you would have still lived, wouldn't you? That's a completely different scenario. Agreed. But what has to be done, has to be done. Just choose any other person. And I will be there for you.
David, you have an intended number. Yes, in my room. This intending member privately for a minute. Ken, okay. you don't do such thing. It's alright. Go on. What are you doing here? I saw the way David your friend was spring dollars at your house. So I approached him and why didn't you approach me? I never knew you remember. Now do you want more money? Yes, I want to be like you have. How much are you worth now? About 20 million naira. I will give you 30 million naira more. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you turn around now and run. You run as fast as your legs can carry you. And never you ever dream of coming back here again. Nobody, I repeat, nobody from Omar Kanta will ever join a cult again. I've made enough sacrifice. I'm wrong. Great men abound in every nation. Men that have sacrificed all in their power and resources to improve the cause of their existence. Oh, there were men like Martin Luther King Jr. There is Nelson Mandela. And here we had Dr. Nandi Asikiwe and many more. 